from tree to tree. They make loud, funny noises at night when all the stars are shining bright. If you please,
Guess who? It's me, Bear Sheba J. Bear, your friend BJ. And I'm here with another bedtime Bible story. It's all about a young boy by the name of Daniel and his amazing adventures. So, the sooner you get all tucked in, the sooner the story will begin, okay? This is the story of Daniel and the handwriting on the wall. Daniel was a child who loved God and obeyed God. Because of Daniel's devotion, God blessed him with a very unusual talent. Daniel could explain the meaning of things. For example, if someone had a dream they couldn't understand, they'd go to Daniel. With God's help, Daniel could figure out all sorts of things. One day, the king of Babylon, King Belshazzar, had a very strange thing happen to him. The king was having a party, and everyone was having a good time. When all of a sudden, out of thin air, there appeared a hand. That's right, a hand. The room became quiet, and everyone stared in amazement as this paw, I mean hand, wrote four words upon the wall. Then, without explanation, the hand just disappeared. Needless to say, the king was troubled and puzzled. The next day, he called upon three of his wisest men to try to explain what the handwriting on the wall meant. Uh, handwriting on the wall, you say? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, well, perhaps it means that your hands are dirty. That is to say, they're not clean, and otherwise they would have been, and the fingernails have got lots of stuff. Have you washed them recently, sire? Wrong, said the king. Then number two gave his view. I got it, I got it. The hand means, it means that you are a very handy guy. <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's it. What do you think, your majesty? Oh, good help is hard to find, thought the king. Then the third wise man spoke. Your majesty. There is one person in your kingdom who can truly tell you the meaning of all of this. A young lad by the name of Daniel. The whole kingdom bustled with excitement. Everybody had heard stories about young Daniel and his faith in God. Now they'd see for themselves if Daniel was truly blessed by the Lord. Daniel appeared before the king. The king said if Daniel could explain the writing on the wall, he would give him fine clothes to wear, put a gold chain around his neck, and make him one of his princes. The suspense was unbearable. The king was so nervous and excited, he could hardly wait. But Daniel smiled confidently, knowing that the Spirit of God was with him. The meaning behind the writing was clear to him. He looked at the king and spoke directly to him. Hear me, O king. You have committed a sin before the living God. You have used objects from God's temple to worship false gods. The hand is God's way of telling you that he has judged you and found you to be unworthy of his blessing. The words upon the wall mean 
that soon he will take away your kingdom. He did it! With God's help, Daniel figured out what the handwriting meant. I gotta hand it to him. <laughs> King Belshazzar was shocked by the news. But in his heart, he knew Daniel was right. The king had become proud and boastful instead of giving thanks to the Lord. Later that night, Belshazzar lost his kingdom, just as God said he would. But Daniel was rewarded for his wisdom and given gifts of gold, fine clothing, and was made a prince of the new king. Yes, Daniel was truly blessed. The Lord helped Daniel to help others. And that, my friends, is the story of Daniel and the handwriting on the wall. The end.
balls are round, long, or straight. Noodles come in all kinds of sizes and shapes. N. where nuts are found. When they fall, they roll all around on the ground.
the clock on our wall says it's time for us to send you to dreamland. So, here's a Bible lullaby for you to have sweet dreams by. 